Have you ever thought of a way to make high-quality videos with 3D avatars for your faceless YouTube channel to finally stand out and stay ahead of your competitors? And this is not one of those use in video AI or hyper AI to generate 500 long-form videos. Trust me, it doesn't even look professional at all. And even if you posted that video, it will end up getting zero views because it's not engaging. But what if I told you there's a new AI tool that handles the professional editing and it gives you a customizable avatar that looks like it was brought straight out of Blender? That alone can take animators months to make. And that's not all. You won't need to hire an apartment and turn it into a studio because this tool also comes with over 100 different types of studios for your avatar and also over 20 realistic voices, both male and female. Since you don't know how to use this tool, I have made a five-step formula to guide you through it. The first step is for this part, you just need to open your browser and type Rendora AI and search for it. Once it opens, you should sign up or log in. You will be given free 900 credits after that. Now, click on Create and choose Landscape. Finally, click on the Avatar button and select any avatar of your choice. You can select an avatar from any race or gender. Once you've selected your avatar, let's customize it. Now it's time to style your avatar. Click on the pen icon to access the wardrobe and choose an outfit that fits your avatar's personality. Then, select a hairstyle that complements their look. Add some finishing touches with accessories like glasses and earrings. Once you're satisfied with your avatar's style, save it and give it a name that suits its unique character. The second step is... For this part, you can choose any type of studio for your character. Whether it's indoors, outdoors, a playground, or even a TV news studio, the options are endless. Now, open Rendora and click on Studio. Carefully preview each studio by hovering your mouse over it. You can easily choose a studio from any category by clicking on the category and selecting Outdoor Space. As you can see, there are numerous studios to choose from. Repeat this process until you find a studio you like and then click on it to select it. The third step is... For this part, simply open Rendora AI and click on Script. Scroll down slightly, where you'll see the Upload option, but for this example, we'll utilize the AI Script Generation feature. Here, you'll need to input the following details. Role. Define the character's role or persona. Topic. Specify the subject or theme of the script. Style. Choose the tone and style of the script, e.g. formal, informal, humorous, etc. Structure. Select the desired format or organization of the script. Once you've filled in these details, the AI will generate a script for you. Click on Generate and scroll down a little, then click on Apply. The fourth step is... For this part, you just need to open Rendora and click on this icon. Now, you can select any voice of your choice, both male and female, but I will take Katie's voice. The fifth step is... For this part, I will explain how to import your media files so you can make your videos look better. Go to Rendora and click on Assets. Now click on Upload and import all the media files you need, both videos and images. Next, carefully drag them and add them to each scene in your video. Simply read the script and drag the right file to it. Once you're done, click on 3D Generate and wait a few seconds for it to render. Once it's done, click the Export button and let's review the final result of this edit. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about a topic that's so relatable. It's like a phone call from your teenager smartphones. Teenagers and smartphones, oh boy, it's a love-hate relationship we all know too well. Now, I'm no expert, but I've spent enough time around teenagers to share some humorous insights on their digital besties. Firstly, let's talk about the advantages. Think of smartphones as teen superpowers. They're like portable universities where kids can access a world of knowledge with just a few taps. It's like a magic wand that turns boring textbooks into fascinating YouTube tutorials and endless quizzes. Now, picture this. Your teenager's brain expands like a superhero's, all thanks to Wikipedia on their phone. But with great power comes. Well, let's not forget the drawbacks. Imagine a teenage ninja, except instead of throwing shurikens, they throw notifications. They might miss important dates because they're too busy scrolling through Instagram, or accidentally reply to their teacher's email with a gif of a cat playing the drums. It's like a high-tech slapstick routine. And don't get me started on the late-night adventures. Those smartphones are like a portal to the land of never-ending gaming sessions, turning bedtime into a showdown between level 99 boss battles and sleep deprivation. Parents, you might as well start looking for cave drawings, because your teen's room has more glow-in-the-dark stars than constellations. But hey, let's give credit where credit is due. 
Smartphones have taught our teenagers valuable lessons in multitasking, like juggling Snapchat chats with a dance challenge. It's a skill that might come in handy someday, though we may prefer them focusing on math homework instead. In conclusion, smartphones are a double-edged sword for teens. They're a digital Swiss army knife that opens doors to knowledge, but also a time machine that takes them to the depths of procrastination. So, while we laugh about their smartphone escapades, let's remember to remind them to use technology wisely, like a responsible babysitter, not a party animal. Thanks for listening, folks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I need to go find my phone. It's probably reminding me I have a real life outside my virtual reality headset. Good day. Absolutely genius. This is insane. It looks like it was brought straight out of Blender. And the best part, after signing up, you'll get 900 free credits to play around with and see what's possible. So, if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel.